Greetings to Mr. Vice President Tegindus. Mr. Vice President, uh, DCB has done a lot on the response to the crisis in 2020, which is the year of this report. Even it's comparable to what the Fed did, which is saying a lot, but we are still far from the inflation target, as you just referred, even on the projections for the, for the medium term. In this environment of crisis, of low equilibrium interest rates, of low expectations for inflation, makes it very difficult to attain the, the objective, and it has an important impact on growth. On your comments on the previous report, we miss a comment on a very important part of point 11. And I would like to refer that we, we say at that report that we call on the ECB to study the possibility of, ad, of using other policy measures to stimulate the economy within the confines of its mandate. This point was not addressed in your, in your comments. Uh, me and Danuta Ubner, my colleague from the EPP, we organized a seminar on, on monetary policy with a person from the IMF, Paul de Grau, Vitor Constance, Stan Jordan. Some proposals came to the table. A symmetric objective for inflation, like the Fed has. Yield curve control commitment, like the Bank of Japan did. Long-term forward guidance. Or even the more radical approach of some sort of helicopter money, provided that it is strictly done within the independent mandate and the confines of the mandate. So these are alternatives, these are possibilities that came to the table in this webinar. And this is the kind of things we would like the ECB to comment and to consider on the strategy review. What are your comments? Thank you. Uh, I can speak, I suppose. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Marcus. Um, uh, you are totally right that in the, in, you know, uh, in the strategy review that uh, you know we are now in the middle of the process of uh, you know uh, analyzing you know different uh, different issues. All these uh, you know kind of uh, you know of uh, elements that you have commented and that you have noted before, uh, you know, are going to be quite uh, quite relevant. The first one is going to be you know the definition of price stability. Uh, my personal view is that we should go to a symmetric, uh, a symmetric uh, uh, approach with a long-term, a medium-term, uh, you know, uh, uh, view of, uh, you know, the, the, the target. But uh, let me say something that I think that is quite relevant as well. I think that monetary policy is much more about evolution than revolution. So if you look at the evolution of our definition of price stability, you will realize that we started uh, at the beginning with an inflation rate below 2%. In 2003, we went to the below but close to 2%, and I suppose that uh, you know we will make uh, we will take another step uh, in order to continue with the evolution of this of this definition of price stability, according to the to the times that we are we are living now. And I think that the question of, sy of symmetry is going to be key. And I think that as well, you know, that uh, you know, a medium-term approach is as well, you know, with respect to, to reach the target is going to be quite quite relevant. <laughs> Other important part of the strategy review is going to be, you know, the question of the of the instruments. We will, you know, perfectly that we have broadened, you know, the toolkit of instruments, uh, uh, and that we are using what we used to to call and to name as um, uh, unconventional uh, monetary policy measures. Well, uh, now, you know, these this are becoming less uh, unconventional and they are becoming more conventional. So, uh, forward guidance, uh, TLTROs, uh, uh, even negative interest rates that we used, uh, you know, is part of our toolkit, you know, and uh, this is something that we have used in the, in the, in the, in the past. But I think that it's very important, uh, you know, to try to avoid, uh, if you allow me to say, fiscal dominance. Hmm? I think that independence, the independence of the of the ECB is uh, is uh, is key. Uh, I think that uh, you know we have to act with full responsibility. I think that we have to look at, you know, what uh, you know uh, other actors are doing, and mainly you know fiscal authorities. Uh, but I think that you know we are we are we are independent. I don't believe that helicopter money would be, you know, uh, uh, you know, a good instrument in the present circumstances. It has never been discussed uh, in the governing in the governing council, and I think that it could indicate uh, uh, a sort. It's much more, you know, a fiscal a fiscal action than a monetary than a monetary than a monetary action. If you look at, for instance, what uh, you know, uh, the Biden's plan in the U.S. You see that uh, you know the, the, the you know the, the, the sending of uh, a check to the households has been done you know by the treasury, not by the central bank, not by the Federal Reserve. Uh, 